Hello and welcome to the Game Law Archives. My name's Daniel. And I'm Joe. So today we're going to be discussing the Amazons of Scavos Isles. Otherwise known as the Ascari. So the Ascari are a playable race in both Diablo 1 and 2. Uh, before we go into them though, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like our content. The Ascari come from a cluster of small islands that are collectively known as the Scovos Islands. These islands always have a nice temperature uh, and never seem to be affected by winter. Beaches dot the islands which give way to deep rainforests teeming with life. Impressively, the Ascari have constructed their cities under the forest canopy. And the canopy itself is known for being so dense that light never hits the forest floor. These cities are architecturally stunning, having been adapted to the forest over generations. In fact, their cities remain a source of pride for the Ascari. The forests they reside in are full of fierce animals and toxic flora, meaning that hunting for food is a dangerous task. Because of the thick sea of trees, manoeuvrability becomes much more important in surviving here than brute force. Because of the flexibility and dexterity needed to hunt and fight, the Ascari soldiers are all women. As are all their government. They are a matriarchal government. Uh, men can still work in government, however the voices will carry less importance than women's and they're prohibited from the highest positions in government. So. Where did the Ascari originate from? Well, back in Sanctuary's early days, when Inarius and Lilith ruled over the land, one of the ancients named Phileos fell in love with an angel called Lysander. When Lilith began to purge Sanctuary of all angels and demons, Lysander snuck back to the high heavens, while remaining in communication with Phileos using an artifact called the Sightless Eye. In time, his fellow angels realised Lysander was in contact with someone outside of heaven, although they couldn't work out who. Don't forget, at this time, Sanctuary's existence was still unknown to both heaven and hell. So, to ensure that Sanctuary remained hidden, Lysander ended her romance, giving the sightless eye to Phileos to hide. Phileos obliged, hiding the eye somewhere on the Scavos Isles. Phileos wandered the world, while the Nephilim around him eventually devolved into mankind. As his grief of losing Lycan lessened, he eventually met a human woman called Ascara. The two fell in love, and Ascara gave birth to twin girls. As the twins grew older and learned of their origins, they vowed to recover the sightless eye. When they eventually found the artifact, they discovered that they could not use it to communicate with their angels, as their father once had, but could use this mirrored surface to see into the future. It was here they began their new culture, with the sightless eye at the heart of their society, and over time the culture evolved into two castes, the Amazon caste and the Oracle caste. Both castes work in tandem with one another, each having a separate cream who rule the Scovos Islands together. The Amazon cast are the warriors of this race, as their cylinder frames and huge dexterity help them traverse and hunt in the dense forest of their homeland. When they first begin their training, Amazons are not taught combat alone, but also how to come the jungle's natural obstacles. Through strict martial discipline and focus, the Amazons can attune to any environment, assessing any potential dangers. This allows them to react to these habits with seemingly supernatural agility. This skill will eventually allow them to environmental hazards into their advantage over their enemies. Once they understand how to use their environment, their training continues with how to hunt and fight at night, so the darkness will never slow them down. Their weapons of choice are usually the bow, spear and javelin, and they are known throughout the land as the best archers in Sanctuary. Amazons are also known for their ferocity, agility and superior hand-eye coordination, as well as outright fighting abilities. They also excel in the tactics of misdirection. Once they are adept as a warrior, specific training will be carried out to help the Amazons identify and avoid attacks from their enemies. Because of their reputation, they are often sought after as mercenaries and soldiers, and they are happy to provide this service and will f be fiercely loyal to any employer so long as their assignments doesn't conflict with their strong ethical beliefs. 
The Oracle cast is more ethereal in nature, and instead of weapons training, becoming adept at the magical arts instead. It is the oracles that use the sightless eye to predict the future, predicting demons' attacks countless times and allowing the Ascari warriors to train in preparation. In fact, they predicted the events of the Dark Exile thousands of years before it happened. And many of the cast also become healers, specialising in treating the poisons of the natural plant and wildlife found on the Scorvos Isles. Because of the seclusion of the Isles, the Ascari are an isolated culture. This means the Zakarum religion never reached them when it was spread throughout Sanctuary, and their own religion has remained largely unchanged. This isolation is a double-edged sword, however, as it means that information on their religion is scarce. Their religion's name isn't known. Uh, we know it re revolves around the worship of the two prime deities, Phileos and Mysander, and many lesser ones. Uh, little else is really known, apart from the fact that they do believe in an afterlife. Another byproduct of this seclusion is the Iscaria accomplished sailors, as to trade with any other nation requires sailing the goods across the sea. Uh, this by extension means the Ascari have vast fleets of merchants which sail all across Sanctuary um, and they were actually one of the first races to be in contact with both the Western Kingdoms and Kazakhstan at the same time. Despite the sightless eye being heavily guarded, eventually a band of Ascari who opposed the government stole the artifact and fled to Kanduras. Here the group started a guild called the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye, setting up a monastery in the mountains between Kanduras and Aranach. The guild is shrouded in mysteries, and most don't know of its existence, but it quickly spread through the Western Kingdoms. The Sisterhood adapted their, the Amazon fighting techniques into their own fighting style, while keeping some traditions. The Sisterhood remains a female-only order, and recruits females that excel in archery. They then will train them on how to use an ability called Inner Sight, which allows the guild members to sense and react to enemies and traps with reaction speed that rivals the Amazons themselves. The Sisterhood's fighting style focuses solely on the bow, with their archery skills also matching the Amazons. However, the art of fighting with spears and javelins has long been forgotten. Because the West doesn't know the guild's existence, the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye disguise themselves as simple travellers and are known simply as rogues. One of these rogues helps to kill Diablo during the darkening of Tristram. And multiple help you in Diablo 2, as do you remember in Act 1, mm -hmm. when you, you get a free helper, mm -hmm. they're, they're the rogues, and the leader of that camp is the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye. That's the rogue encampment. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Um, however, the Sisterhood no longer have possession over the Sightless Eye anymore, uh, as it was lost as the guild developed. No one knows where it has gone for certain, but Deckard Kane has researched into it, and he believes that Andariel stole it when he took over the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye um, during the, the beginning of Diablo 2. Um, and and that concludes the history of the Ascari race, really. They're, they're very mysterious, so there isn't that much on it. We'll see you in uh, in a couple of weeks.